yeah. All right, let's get started. All right. This is the plane with Dunning Commission, November the 7th, 6 30, in King Hall, looking at 101 South Main Street, Joshua, Texas. We'll jump right in and call that uh, order. And now, so we do have a quorum present here. Moving on to the citizen forum. Action letter B. The planning is under commission by citizens to speak on any topic. However, unless that item is specifically noted on the agenda, the planning and zoning commission is required under the Texas Open Meetings Act to limit its response to responding with a statement of specific factual information, reciting the city's existing policy, or directing the person making the inquiry to visit the city staff about the issue. No commission deliberation is permitted, and each person will have three minutes to speak. I know we have a couple of public hearings on the agenda tonight, so we'll have a chance for if anybody else to speak regarding a certain item. But if there's something else not on the agenda, or if there is, if they want to speak, right in. No, we'll jump right into the regular agenda here. And the first is to consider, discuss, consider, and possible action on the October 3rd, 2022 planning and meeting minutes. Another great little package. Everybody has a chance to review those. Yeah. Okay. Of course, it's not working on this thing. <laughs> I read them beforehand, but they're not, they're not here. Yeah. I'll entertain a motion. Is there something to say? Uh, make a motion to accept the minute test. Okay. All those in favor? Okay. May I ask who second that one? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's this? Do I touch this? There's a different item. Oh, 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 there it goes. Okay, got it. Number two under the agenda, uh, we'll open up a public hearing with 632. Public hearing on a request for zoning change regarding approximately 8.995 acres of land and the George Castle Survey as direct number 173 John, County of Johnson in Texas, located at 6001 County Road 10.3, change from agricultural district, district to the R1 single family residential district to allow the construction of two residential districts. Uh, the subject property is 8.995 acres, and will be subdivided and creating two additional lots under the two acre minimum for agricultural zoning. Therefore, a zoning change to single family residential district is needed. Uh, the proposed zoning change will allow for the construction of residential homes. This development will be required a final plan. The city has agreed that these matters may be part of the planning review process. Um, the proposed request complies with the city of Joshua zoning ordinance and staff recommends approval. Um, is the owner here? Do they care to make presentation regarding I'm here. What would you like to hear? Whatever you want to say. You want to say anything, I'm really here. Uh, if we have any questions, we'll come back to you. Yeah. Okay. And is there anybody here who wants to speak in favor? You don't want to speak again? I'm in favor of it. I'm one of the neighbors. The sign. Will you state your name and address? I'm uh, Randy Hutchins. I've got a four one carrying around the same point three. That's ready. Anybody want to say against? Well, I'll make a motion here. We'll close the public hearing at 634, and then we'll move on to uh, number three, which is better discuss, consider the possible action on the request for a zoning change regarding. Approximately 8.995 acres of land in the George Cassidy Survey at 173 County of Johnson, Texas, located at 6001 County Road 10.3 to change from agriculture district to R1, single family residential district, to allow for the construction of two residential homes. So now we're back here for a discussion, questions, comments. 
I, 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 I'll make a motion that we approve this for the construction of the two uh, residential homes. Okay. Motion and a second. All those in favor? You did? to this committee, we are having problems getting members to sign up. And so the city council requested a month ago to change the requirements. Currently we require an owner of the property or business located within the district. And we're looking at changing it to an owner of a business or residential anywhere in the city to serve on the committee. Can you open that up to the public? Can we come to sign up to speak? No, sir. And we'll close public hearing at 637 and move down to number five, which is discuss is there a possible action on the request in the heritage preservation community membership requirements? Any discussion needed or questions for Alex? So again, it's just the existing way it's written, there's not enough volunteers to support. That's, needed. Sorry, no. That's correct. So we're open the opportunity to everyone in the city who owns a property or a business instead yeah. of just in the district. There's a whole section. I can show you after the meeting on the map if you like. Main Street. Oh, okay. questions? Make a motion to accept the request to open the Heritage District to the city of Joshua and the district. Just the changes that are changes as recommended. Okay. All those in favor? Unanimously. All right, number six, which is to discuss, consider, and possible action on approving a replat regarding 2.286 acres of land known as Lots 29R, 31R, 32R, the Mountain Valley Edition, and the Gates of Moore Survey and Track Number 620, County of Johnson, Texas, located at 805 uh, Country Club and 103 and 105 Lake Air Drive for the purpose of combining two lots with one part of the Uh, the property was originally platted as two separate lots for each of the property owners. This property is zoned R1, single family residential district. The purpose of the three class is buying two lots for each of the property owners into one parcel of land for each owner. Uh, water is provided by Johnson County Special Utility District. A letter of final approval has been submitted. By the way, the dedications have already been dedicated. This plat appears to meet the minimum requirements for a replat as set forth in the city of Joshua subdivision ordinance. Therefore, we recommend approval. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll review that plat. Any questions? Or, uh, um, sir? Is that an HOA? No. Oh, it's not. No. Because I was concerned about how how sticky they can get. That was just all years ago. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We've owned the land for twenty years. We're just finally splitting it up behind the big houses. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make a statement to the board that I currently live at one hundred and seven Lake Air Drive, which is not 
part of this, but then I have no financial gain in my decision at all. And I just want to make sure that's on record so there's no question. Any further discussion? If not, I'll let you motion. Motion will be I have a second. Sir, that's it. All in favor? Here's the first one. Yeah, unless there's anything else, then we will adjourn at 641. <laughs> 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 yeah, I have a number.